All right, greatstockpicks.com highlight video from Tuesday's call. Um, you know, we're in the summer slowdown, so there's not a whole lot of action going on, but uh, I think we did a nice job today, and I'll go over what we did do today. HEV, these are daily candles, just been killed. I think a lot of people have been watching this one. Um, and then I add in today's candy, see it had a nice pop today. We caught the bulk of this one. Uh, our, our intraday entry was 113, stopped four cents below, and uh, went to 125. So, uh, you know, that's a 10% move in our favor. Doesn't sound like much. And a nice volume pop, too. I suggested this could be a good swing on some of your shares. Um, I'm a big intraday guy myself. I like going home in cash, but this could be multi day. Um, but a nice move today. Show you the early going if I scroll across here. Put in an early high of 112. And again, since we had it on watch, the high of daybreak 113 with a 109 stop made sense to me. Uh, it triggered quickly to 117, meandered for a while, and then had a nice second win there at the end of the day, all the way to 125. I have um, altered my trading methods a little bit to deal with this low volume summer. I am letting my stops work all day. Doesn't mean I'm not paying myself on part of the trade, okay? You know, if you take it at 113, nothing wrong with selling some uh, on a four cent gain on a $1 stock on summer, whatever, on any of our trades. Nothing wrong with putting some money in your pocket, but as far as going to a break even stop after that, which would be right here, uh, I'm not doing that. I'm letting the rest of it. So if I take, let's just say, a third, uh, uh, you know, four cents on a third, uh, I could probably use a different stock than this $1 one for an example. But just quickly, um, if I take some profits, okay, on a third, um, you know, and then it comes back, I'm not moving my stop to break even on the other two thirds. I, I'm keeping my stop in the original spot. So trading like that is a little different than I'm used to because I like getting to a can't lose trade as quick as I can by going to a break even stop. But, um, you know, after back testing a lot of our calls, more I don't want to say more often than not, but uh, oftentimes the stop holds all day and I'm getting chased out on the back half or the back third or whatever at a break even when it comes back down. So uh, it's sort of a summer long experiment here that I've started this week as I told our members. I'm going to let the stop work. So, you know, if you take some and then you stop out on the rest, your losses will be minimal anyway because you put some money in your pocket on the way up. But going to a break even stop as quick as I can. Uh, I'm putting that on hold for the summer, and I'll report back. And I have a feeling the results are going to be much better. So anyway, there there was one. Um, big lots, I called BIG here. Uh, see this uh, this popped a 33.20. Had an interesting daily chart. These are five-minute candles. Came back down. I said over 33.20. In other words, 33.21 with a stop at um, 13 cents below. Stop right down here, 33.21. It took a while, grinding, grinding. Um, but then finally made a nice pop to 33.74. So a decent, at its, at its height, a 53 cent move from our entry. And again, the stop was only 13 cents below, never got hit. Our old friend Cree, 43.46 entry, called it somewhere in here, stop a little bit lower. I, made, I went with a low of day stop there, uh, 27 cents below. But the stop never got hit. And from 43.46, closed very nicely at 43.91 and again another argument for not going to a break even stop and then right near the end of the day um, you know if you still have some you can sell into that pop I'm, I'm still not a fan of holding overnight I'd rather take my money since I have the luxury of being able to be there with the market all day every day um, I don't see the reason to leave money at risk but that you know everyone's different and everyone's uh, situation is different but that's that's how I'm going to trade uh, is going to cash for the close uh, VRSN another example um, just got killed here in the morning. Made a long call at 34.66. Um, so somewhere right in here. And worst case stop, 20 cents below. Never got hit, as you can see. And it also closed strong, as did the market. So, you know, big deal. Went 41 cents above our entry, uh, but still never stopped out. And that's the highlights from today. I'm going to wrap this up, and we will follow up with a highlight video from Wednesday's trading in our live chat room on Wednesday evening. Have a great night.